Hi, I'm Trey Hutchings, and this is how to create a MIDI acoustic rock guitar song in BandLab Part 1. For Part 2, click on the link at the end of this video. First, let's add a MIDI guitar track. Below the bottom track, on the track mixer screen, tap on the plus icon and tap on Virtual Instruments. At the top of the screen, tap on the Guitars tab. Tap on Acoustic Guitar to install it. Then tap on Acoustic Guitar again. Now let's add a guitar riff using the G major chord. And to do this, we need to understand what a G major chord looks like on a guitar. So here is a guitar tab showing the G major chord. The lowest pitch string is on the left and the highest pitch string is on the right. We can see from the tab that the string notes are G, B, D, G, B and G. Now we know the strings, let's transfer them to the step sequencer. Tap on the step sequencer icon at the bottom left of the screen. Following the G major chord tab string notes, the first string is G2. The next is B2, then D3, G3, B3, and the last string is G4. Now that we have the notes in the step sequencer, let's create a guitar pattern using those notes. Add a G2 note to the first square of the step sequencer. Then press on the end of the note and drag it eight squares along. Next, add a B3 note to the third square. Then press on the end of the note and drag it two squares long. Now add a B3 note three squares long. Add a B3 note one square long. Leave a two square gap. Then add a B3 note five squares long. Next, add a G3 note on the fifth square, three squares long. Then add a G3 note, one square long. Leave a one square gap, then add a G3 note, one square long. Add a G3 note, two squares long. And add a G3 note, three squares long. Now add a D3 note to the tenth square, one square long. Then add a D3 note, two squares long. Now add a G2 note, two squares long, to the last two squares of the measure. Finally, add a G4 note, three squares long, to the fifth square. Then add a G4 note, one square long. And add a G4 note, four squares long. To the last four squares of the measure. Now let's make the guitar pattern sound more like a real guitar by adjusting the velocity on some of the notes. Press on the first G4 note. Then tap on the third icon from the left on the pop-up menu. That is 
the velocity icon. Now drag the dot on the line at the bottom of the screen to the left, so it is about two-thirds of the way along the line. And then press on the tick icon at the bottom right of the screen. Now do the same to the second G4 note, the first, third and fourth B3 notes, the second and fourth G3 notes, the second D3 note, and the last G2 note. In part two, I'll show you how to transpose this G major chord guitar pattern so we can create a song. And here is the link to part two.